Hi, my name is Laverne Estenal, and I'm the Assistant Director for Human Research Protections at the UC Irvine Office of Research. This video is part one in a three-part series of video user guides on the Office of Research YouTube page. It provides guidance for the submission of clinical trials registration and summary results information to clinicaltrials.gov, which is the clinical trial registry and results data bank. The purpose of clinicaltrials.gov is to publicly disclose key information about clinical trials that are currently available to contribute findings to the evidence base that informs future medical care. It also captures significant summary protocol information before and during the trial and serves as a repository of summary results and adverse event information for completed trials. The good news is it's possible that you don't need to register your study at all. However, if you are required to register, you need to know which requirements apply, NIH or DHHS. Part two of this series explains National Institutes of Health or NIH policy. If you are working on a clinical trial and your funding is from NIH, make sure you watch part two of this series. Watching part two will help you determine if your study falls under the NIH definition of a clinical trial. Part three of this series explains the DHHS final rule, which was established by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, or DHHS. Watching part three will help you determine if your study is an applicable clinical trial as defined by DHHS. There are general requirements that apply to both the NIH policy and the DHHS final rule that I will explain. But before we go any further, you need to determine if it's your responsibility to register your study. The responsible party is usually the study sponsor of a clinical trial. However, it may be the PI of a clinical trial if designated by a sponsor, grantee, contractor, or awardee. This is often the case for PI-initiated research. Individuals that meet the definition of a responsible party are required to register clinical trials within 21 days after the enrollment of the first research participant. The responsible party is also required to submit study results within 12 months after completion of the applicable clinical trial. If you have any questions, contact the EQUIP team by email at equip at uci.edu. That's EQUIP at uci.edu.